Hi, this is uh, Maha Tariq from Benidorm, Spain, and I'm going to be showing you a few of the most popular places in Benidorm and what they look like now. Just to give you the slight background, Benidorm is like the third most tourist place in in Spain. And uh, last year, or the year before, we had about 42 million people, and it was the third most in uh, in all across Spain. 42 million tourists in just the summer season. And of course I'm uh, doing it from my car because we're not really allowed to be outside and the place as you can see it looks and the beach is uh, probably the most attractive place for the tourists to come to Spain and that's what it looks like now. I'd be showing you the few supermarkets and the pharmacies as well and another popular place from Benito. Thank you. Hi, this is uh, Benidorm's main strip and, uh, and this is probably the busiest place and the most attractive place to the youth tourist, to the young tourists in Benidorm and uh, I'd say during the summer time at least all of them bars at least have about 500 people in them, each one of them and uh, as you can see right now it's all shut, it's nothing there, it's like there was nothing, anything there and sadly it's become the new norm and everything, it just seems normal now, going around and seeing absolutely no one on the street. Or what seems to be the new normal. Hopefully it gets better soon. I'm uh, on one of the busiest roads in Benidorm, well, used to be, and that road leads straight to the beach at the end, and all those hotels you can see, they are all shut because they are all tourists' accommodations, and because there is no tourists and they are all shut, so is that park in the back. Everything is shut at the moment, and we don't know, because it says until further notice, we don't know when the situation is going to improve and when the things are going to be opening up again. But it has improved a bit for for the supermarkets because the supermarkets and the pharmacies they can stay open for for however long and they're not going to shut them so people are not panic buying anymore and uh, from today all the construction workers all the road workers they've been put on leave 
And uh, so, yeah, there is only a few things going on, and which is like the food sector, the health sector.